All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. First off, I wanna give a big shout out to Alexander Langen, Christina's little brother, on graduating. Did I do it again? You said Alexander Langen. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Langan is my good high school friend. Alexander oh, Khalil. I can't you did that. I, oh, I do it every time. So I don't know why. Sad. Anyway. I'll give him shit for that. Anyway, go wish him happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Go wish him happy graduation, <laughs> class of 2020. Oh Hashtag. My gosh. I don't know. Happy I birthday can't also. Speak. Wow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's not his you birthday. Be filming today? No, I gotta start that over. Today we're going back down to Santa Barbara Ducati. We're gonna be putting the finishes, finishing touches on the S1000. Um, and if all goes well, it should be rideable. I think I'll I'll wait to ride it though and do a whole separate uh, first ride. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Don't mind me. Um, but we're gonna be doing the custom blue moto seat cover. I'm really excited for that. And we have to make some adjustments to the reservoir and the clip-ons uh, because it needs a little bit of fixing. Also. Um, I'm selling all the stock parts from the S1000RR. I actually already packaged them all up very nicely, but I have the whole full fairing set up from the M package. I have the gas tank, and I have the entire um, rear subframe. I put them all up on my website. I'll put a link to it right here on the screen along with photos. So if you're interested in getting any of the stock parts, they're gonna be like literally half off or less than what you would get them from BMW. And we actually have some upgrades coming for this thing as well. Oh my God, and guys, I cannot wait to show you what we're gonna be doing for the uh, custom uh, Ducati Street Fighter build. I've been working with my buddy, uh, Gregor Escu from Romania. Uh, he's a graphic designer. I told him what I wanted and he knocked it out of the park. Wait until you guys see what we're doing. That will be revealed very, very soon. So stay tuned for that and don't forget we're giving that bike away alongside the BMW. The BMW will be done in a couple of weeks and then we'll start on that bad boy. So, okay, let's get a cold start on this and get the heck out of here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot of people said they really like the black and red. I think it looks incredible. All right, Blender's acquired chocolate, peanut butter, and protein for Rory and myself. Christina got what, some sort of power greens? Power greens, it's like kale and spinach and stuff. I, I applaud her attempt to be healthy. It's, it's not ice cream, so you know, it's a step in the right direction. Now we can head down to Santa Barbara. Do cutting. Let's stop. <laughs> I was just gonna say, let's Good get an on-ramp acceleration, and there's a cop sitting right there. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, <laughs> but also a great footage. <laughs> great that, content. That would have been very interesting. <laughs> not only do we not have a front license plate, we also have illegal window tint. Yep. When in Rome. Every time I take this cover off, I'm more and more blown away. Look at that thing. That looks so good. Oh my god. Does it look insane? It just Whoa. it stands out compared Whoa. to all these bikes. So today we're gonna do the custom Lumoto seat cover. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. And then we actually have to fix this, since we adjusted the clip-ons um, so that they don't hit when you turn them in, it actually crimped the line here. So we have to fix that, shorten it, and then re-bleed the whole brake system. And then it should be officially rideable after that. So hopefully in the next video I can do a whole first ride for you guys. But uh, man, it looks good. Looks like a beast. Doesn't it look so good? Is it heavy? Light? No, it's ridiculously light. It feels like Bicycle almost. Makes your car look stupid, teens. <laughs> You're stupid. Which would you take, guys? <laughs> Drop a comment. And we're grown ups. <laughs> and we're grown ups. <laughs> okay, so for on the DACA today, the Louis Moto seat cover, uh, louimoto.com. On, on the docket. On the DACA? <laughs> okay, Bryce, that's why. Good thing Bryce you're not running Bryce. this show over here. My God. How many times did so, you to do that intro? This is one of their. <laughs> Shut up. This is one of their seat covers that I like customized and changed to the design. Um, Louis Moto, we've used them for all of our uh, seat covers. They're super, oh, super cool. Really, really nice. I, it's very sexual the way you're taking that out. You're gonna get this video demonetized. <laughs> but I do have a code for Louis Moto, code Campisi, uh, same as the Moto Million code, um, and it'll save yourself, uh, I think shipping costs is what it'll do. 
How's it look? Nice. I like the That's pretty sick, customs, right? Like, yeah, so Camp Easy Customs in blue and then Carbon S1000 double R and then the, we changed the stitching to blue, all the blue accents. It's not the exact same color blue, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, which is a which is a one. bit of a shame. Oh, rip him up, guys. Oh rip no. Up. No, no, no. The the dogs. Yeah, I probably should have just done maybe black here. But whatever, nice. you know. It's it's a uh, BMW color, so. Yeah, it's still badass. And your ass is going to be on it anyway, so. Yeah, somebody's butt will be covering it up yeah. anyway. It'll make the seat a little bit more comfortable too. These are a little bit of the padding you got. Look how cool I love that the looks. the packaging, the way it comes. That looks badass. Yeah, they do a good job with their packaging. So nice. Look how cool that looks. Campisi Customs. So that's what we're going to be installing today. And then as I mentioned, fixing this guy. All right, I guess Teens is out of here. What do you have to go do? I want to know. Everybody wants to know what you got to do. Grow that booty. Uh, grow the booty? Is that right? Okay, whatever. Hey, this is the third day my back has not been hurting. So I'm taking advantage of it. I stopped hauling off on her so hard. Oh, God, Jared, this is so gross. <laughs> I don't even want to picture that. Cut. Cut. Look at that beast. Look at that freaking car. That thing is nasty. He's an exhaust. If you think it needs an exhaust, drop a comment below. Driving like a dumbass through the neighborhood. God, Christina. So the first thing we're doing is just test fitting to see. Sometimes I remove the stock seat cover. Uh, sometimes I leave it on depending on the tightness of this one. And Rory agrees, I think we'll leave the stock seat cover on, right? Yeah. We'll just remove the staple so that we can uh, staple this one on. We'll basically just staple them both on together once we do the new seat here. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to leave this one on is obviously it's going to fit a little bit better, um, but also the stock seat or even the comfort seat that I bought, the extra one, I still have the M1 which I'll send along with the new owner, but even the comfort seat is still really stiff and I think it's just a little bit too stiff. So this will help make it a little bit better I think. Okay, we got the bad boy up on the rear stand. I realized we don't even have to put it on the lift here so he's just going to, he made himself a little uh, table here. And he's been adjusting it and playing with it, make sure he gets it right in the right spot. And then what are you gonna do, put in that one first? Right there? Yeah. yeah. See, it has a nice, it's cool that they come with that, so it shows you right where center is. So that's what he's gonna do, put that one in first. Kind of, it's nice to kind of put them on there, massage them around a little bit, get them loosened up since they've been in a package for so long. God, this sounds, <laughs> this all sounds very valid. Yeah, <laughs> Two men talking about Stop loosening it. up. Yeah, okay, it. cut. Oh, I love the sound of that. How's it feel? I can't feel it through, that's good. Okay, perfect. We don't want staples in our buttholes. Okay, so Rory has some knowledge here he needs to drop on you guys. I, I thought he was gonna start doing from here and down, but he immediately said he's gonna go to this side, and why is that, Rory? You push a bias into it. Bias, okay. If you put a, put a sleeve in here, yeah. right, a pocket, and if I start and I'll push it down, you see how it comes off, right? And yet it ends up creasing and getting all fucked up. Uh-huh. Right? So you start like that, and you'd go in the middle first, uh -huh. and then the edge, and then the middle, middle, middle. And, and keep then halving you, it? Yeah, yeah. You always half and half and half it. Interesting. And then you don't push a bias in. Ah. You, you naturally do it, either right hand or left hand. See, we're not biased yeah. here at the Ducati shop, no, right? No, we're, uh, we're equal opportunity. <laughs> equal opportunity. Motorcycle employers. Okay, so now we're going down to the bottom. There you go. Is that your sail making experience? Is that what that yeah, comes from? It, it, it costs a lot of time to when you fuck that up on a on big stuff, mm -hmm. it matters. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we don't want our seat sideways either. Not on this bike. After everything we put into it, <laughs> that would be... We've got a chance to do it right. Yeah, do it right. Just do it right. Okay, number two. Boom! Love that sound. Absolutely love it. So now how are you going to go around? Oh, you go to the half, half again? Yeah, I'm going to... Ah, look at this. I'm learning. I'm just going to find the middle. Gotcha. Very cool. I like it. And also don't hit your finger because... That seems pretty powerful. <laughs> that little Grex is no joke. See, ready. We're good. Oh yeah, look at that. That is nice, dude. And we can, well this way we can like pull it forward or aft however we want. Yeah. To, to make it, take the wrinkles out. God, that looks good. Doing a little seam part there. Look at that, well, dude. That I'm going like, through the beef. Going through the beef, baby. Going through the beef. When you're dealing with fabric, it helps. You know, the more in there, the more better. Yep, agreed. What the hell you're talking about? I disagree with whatever the hell you say. You can say put it on backwards, upside down. I'd be like, sure, absolutely. All right, so I think he's got it where he wants it for the most part. Now it's just a matter of going around and adding staples into that bad boy. 
So before we can put the seat on, we actually had to find a clip. That's going to be a bitch to get on there, dude, yeah. for the seat yeah. to screw it's into. Be, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. That'd be right. You know what we could do? Just pop the rear subframe off. Yeah, really quick. <laughs> Just take a broom your ass and screw it apart while I'm doing it. For the it. 15th time, you know? That'll be perfect. All right, Rory got it on there. He said that he just did not want to drop it because then that would have just been rattling around in there like a bag of dicks. That would have been a nightmare, but he got it on. Now we can put the seat on. All right, seat going on, boys. Look at that, incredible. There's some tiny little um, wrinkles here, but those will even out once uh, the bike gets sat on a little bit and the seat stretches out a little bit too. Look at that little Louis Moto. I like how they do that, add that on there, but it's very stealth-like. We got the bolt on there. I do wish the blues matched just a tiny bit better, but you know, what are you gonna do when you're picking out all this stuff without seeing it? You do the best that you can. Uh, like I said, if I had my choice, I would have done a little bit of a darker blue, more like this. But again, we were trying to match it to the wheels that we had painted through Rotobox, so we did the best that we could. And overall, I'm really, really happy with it. And this is a beautiful little cherry on top. And then we can move over to the uh, clip-ons. But look at that thing, guys. I think this right here, like that angle, with the carbon and the Camp Easy Customs and all the nice blue embroidery. God, that looks incredible. Let's see, what, let's see what you think. That seat's hard, I told you. Yeah, and really imagine, hard. we just added stuff or padding to it. How's it feel though? Yeah. yeah? It feels like a fucking race bike. It's a race bike. <laughs> it's like a fucking race bike. It's not like that market really good. <laughs> it's a race bike. You're used to being on your multi, or <laughs> on your, what's it called? Scooter. MV, oh yeah, your scooters. You look good on that thing, Rory. I can't wait for you to ride this thing. Yeah. So actually, before we fix the line and bleed the brakes and all that, um, I want to actually push these clip-ons up a tiny, tiny bit more uh, because it does pinch your thumb a little bit when you're fully cranked to each side, and I just don't want that to happen. I mean, it's just like a tiny, tiny bit. So Rory was just mentioning, um, you, you, it's better for this to be tighter for when you're like turning or backing up at really low speeds because the consequences are a lot less than if you're at high speeds. He said the, the more you put this forward, the bigger your levers are and the more it's going to wobble and stuff at high speeds on bumps and, st and stuff like that. So you do want them to kind of be as far down as you can, right, for leverage purposes. Well, so it, the, the point is that... It's a, it's a small movement, but you have to think over the whole spectrum, right? right. It's, it's something we're looking at in parking the bike, and how is that going to translate when you actually <laughs> yeah. work in the bike at 100 plus miles? Yeah, hour. very true. It's different, so just don't think small. Think of how it affects the whole range from idle all the way through. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're just going to push this one out a tiny bit, and then we can fix that. Okay, he's just going to test it out here. That way, not pinching your, your hands at all. Does that feel okay? That one always feels tight at that time. Which one? This one. That's weird. Doesn't it? Yeah, I thought it did too. Yeah. It is? Does it need to come out Come out a little bit more? Yeah. Okay, then that's what it is. Cool. That's why I wanted you to test it. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Yeah, that one's perfect. I agree. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is fix that kink in the line. In order to do that, we have to shorten that line. And in order to do that, we got to suck out some uh, brake fluid here. And then he's actually going to clamp it off and then shorten it and put it back on there. So, here we go. The only time we don't like kink. We don't, yeah. <laughs> Look at Rory coming out with the zings. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Check out this tool, guys. It's like a vacuum hose, huh? It sucks. Just gonna suck it right out. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at right. it off. What are you doing? Pulling it off right now? You're gonna let that stuff come out a little bit. A little bit. And then you're gonna chop it. Nothing like being filmed when you're doing everything, huh? Look at you. Look at you. God, that makes me so hot. Not the fuck <laughs> up, dude. All right, chopping it down, lined it up. I'm amazed that the rest of that didn't come out of there. So we have to bleed this whole thing again, Rory? No, because it hasn't gone. Oh, you're anything. right. It didn't go down. It stays so up far. top. Okay, cool. There you go. I'll squeeze that hose, and uh -huh. that'll be it. Oh, I love squeezing hoses. I oh, know. <laughs> okay, got the line fixed. It looks fantastic. Adding some fresh brake fluid in there. We're good to go. I'm gonna squeeze it. And then we're you gonna see squeeze. the bubble there. Yeah, you can see the one bubble. Is that, so that's the only air left in the system right there? It's not in the system, it's just in the reservoir. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Look at that. Squeezing it and letting it bubble up. Done deal. There you go, bud. Yeah. 
Go back to your home. Now you're happy. Go back to your happy home. All right, put the top back on it. And then we're actually gonna adjust it because it does very, very slightly touch the uh, carbon fairing, so we're gonna fix that. Since we didn't have the fairing on when we put it on there, so I guess we can we can forgive Roy for that. Yeah, All right, now look at that, guys. That's cunt hair stuff. That's, that's, as, that's as tight as it gets. <laughs> that's, <a cunt> hair. <laughs> that's as tight as it gets. That makes me happy. No more kink in the line. We got brakes that feel phenomenal. We're good to go. All right, Teens has arrived. Come back. What do you think, Teens? Look at that seat. Isn't that beautiful? It's really good. I really love this Campisi Custom spawns. Yeah, the it's blue. Badass. It's against the it's carbon too. Yeah, it looks so nice. Nice shoulder. Really notice the blue difference. No, especially the, from the a little bit. The stitching matches very well. Mm -hmm. This from a distance matches. And like I said, no one's gonna be looking at this. They're gonna be looking at the bike at itself. At the bike itself. Yeah. And most of the time, your ass is gonna be covering it anyway. So. That's true. But yeah, beautiful, that's sick. Yeah. And we fixed this up and here that too. Looks so much yeah. better. And now you can turn the bars all the way, and it doesn't. Uh, doesn't pinch your hands so that's really nice and it should be a little bit more padded now too should be a little bit more padding on there what do you think you don't match at all I, don't, I, stand out. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna be in the video no nope. yeah no pictures for you I just took a, a, a bike a picture by itself for the thumbnail Look, and I have blue nail polish hey, hey there we go <laughs> but yeah that's gonna do it guys um, the only thing we have left are the carbon case covers and then the um, the bar ends, and then it's pretty much done. Um, I think next week, Rory and I are gonna do the first ride in review. He's gonna ride it first, make sure everything's okay. So if the bike explodes, <laughs> he dies instead of me. Okay, uh, all right, ride. we shouldn't I'm say kidding. die. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna ride it and we'll get, we'll get his feedback, and actually I'm gonna let him ride the Street Fighter too, so he can do a before and after comparison of that one as well. So really, really excited, man. I appreciate all the support. This bike's been getting a lot of love on Instagram and on YouTube, and I really appreciate that, guys. One of a kind. And yeah, if you want to be entered to win this bike, uh, you have a couple of episodes left. Uh, by the end of May, it's going to be done, and we choose a winner first week or two in June. Um, Patreon.com slash CampPC Customs. Um, we also have that custom Street Fighter. Oh, wait till you see the design of the custom Street Fighter. It is so freaking sick. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next